What is up everyone this is Somnath Gowder from Future Coders. In this video we are going to be building this simple footer using HTML and CSS. We will be using these icons from the font awesome and of course this is this build is going to be completely responsive. So let me show you. As you can see if I resize the screen it's going to be responsive. So guys this is what we will be building in this video. This is going to be a very short video and very short build. So before we start building this please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video. So let's get started. Okay now inside of our visual studio code as I said we will be using a font or some icons right. So let's import those. Let's head over to our cdnjs.com and we need to search for font awesome. All you have to do is click on this copy link tag. Let's close this and all you have to do is just paste it inside our project. Now we have access to our all our all of the font awesome icons. So inside of the body, let's start building this. Uh, actually before that right, let's right click and open with live server so that our project opens in a live server. So uh, if you don't know what live server is it is just an extension which you can install. Maybe you already know this. Okay that's going to be this one. So back to our build. Inside the body let's create a section with the class name of footer. Inside this footer, we are going to have a social division and lists, right? So social division is going to have all of those social media icons. So let's define those. So we are going to have a div with the class name of social. Inside of this, we are going to have anchor tags, a tag and the link is not going to be going anywhere. So inside of the anchor tags, we are going to have our icons. So the first one is Instagram. So uh, it has a class name of FAB and FA Instagram. Let's save it. Okay, there we have our Instagram icon. Like that, we are going to have three more. This one is going to be for Snapchat, and the third one is Twitter, and this one is going to be for Facebook. That's going to be Facebook dash f so there we have all of our social media icons so right after this social media, right after this social view we're gonna have a list a unordered list with the class name of list instead of this we are gonna have a list and we are gonna have anchor tags the anchor tag this one this one is going to be say home like that we are gonna have a list item for services and about and we are going to have two more of these it's going to be for terms and the last one is going to be for privacy policy okay there we have our unordered list so right after this we are going to have right after this unordered list we are going to have a p tag with the class name of copyright this is going to say future coders. Okay, let's save this. Okay, now we are done with our HTML part. So let's head over to our styles.css file. Make sure you link our local CSS file. So inside of our styles.css file, let's target everything. By default, the browser applies some default margin and padding. So we need to clear it by saying margin 0 and padding to 0 and box sizing to border box so now let's target our whole body and for the body i'm going to set the uh, font family this one and let's also set the font weight to 400 i'm going to use a background color of a little bit grayish this one okay now let's target our footer, this one, which is having all of this, this one, that's going to be our footer. So let's target that. 
I'm gonna set the padding 40 pixels to top and bottom and 0 pixels to left and right okay and I'm gonna have a background color of white there we have it now let's target the socials these icons which are present inside the footer let's target those I'm gonna say footer social that's what it is named right social so here I'm gonna say text align to center okay this okay now they are aligned centrally I'm gonna add some padding to the bottom 25 pixels and I'm gonna say give them a color of let's say 4 4b 4 C and 4D. Okay, there it's not applied yet. Okay, now let's continue it. And we are gonna go over, we are gonna target these anchor tags. Okay, now here let's say anchor tags. I'm gonna set the font size to 24 pixels to make them a little bit bigger color is going to say inherit mm, yeah there we have it okay I think it is inheriting the color from over here I don't know okay let's set the border 1 pixels solid little bit grayish there we have our border I'm gonna set the width to 40 pixels and height to 40 pixels and let's also set some line height to 38 pixels and I also need to set it as display in line block I'm gonna say text align to center and let's make those borders rounded by saying border radius 50 percent and i'm gonna set margin zero to the top and bottom and eight pixels to the left and right there we have it and i'm gonna also set opacity to 0 0.75 0.75 initially it's going to have opacity of point sorry 0.75 so when i hover on it the opacity is going to change hover and the opacity when we hover on it let's set it to 0.9 as you can see when i hover on it the opacity changes to 0.9 so we are done with our social media social media social media icons now let's target our another list that is present inside the footer so let's target that here i will say footer and the unordered list i'm gonna say i'm gonna clear any margin if any at the margin top zero and let's also set padding to zero list style is going to be none i'm gonna set the font size to let's say 18 pixels okay it's the same now let's also set some line height to 1.6 and margin bottom to zero it's gonna clear any margin if any margin is being applied so so let's target uh, the link tags which these anchor tags which are present inside the unordered list let's say here footer unordered list and those anchor tags i'm gonna inherit the color from the parent inherit there we have it and text decoration to none we don't want those underlines and initially the opacity is going to be 0.8 okay now let's target the links these allies that are inside footer ul li this one actually i also need to add li here okay now for the li we are gonna set it as display 
inline block and also let's add some padding to 0 sorry 0 and 15 pixels okay, there we have it and I also forget to add here text align to center okay there we have it now once we are done with that let's add the hover functionality to these this one which are present inside the li these list items so here I'm gonna target the a tag and add some hover functionality and I'm gonna say change the opacity to 1 as you can see when I hover on it the opacity is changing slightly it is not uh, that observable but it is changing yes it is changing now the one final thing left is this copyright section so let's target that it is present inside the footer and copyright and for that I'm gonna set the margin to the top 15 pixels text align to center font size to 13 pixels color is going to be this one okay there we have it our responsive footer section it's going to be completely responsive let me show you there we have it so that's it guys for this video I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video so i will see you in the next one